Hi everybody, it's Joni from Granny J. Clay. I'm just going to um, stick my head in just for a minute this morning. I decided to do something different uh, for today. I've been doing the kind of the same thing with the stripes over and over. So I decided I would make some beads this morning. And um, this is what I um, and am ending up doing. I watched a video by um, a gal called, and she calls her channel Fulgurine, or Fulgurine, F-U-L-G-O-R-I-N-E. Um, anyway, I, follow, I kind of watched what she was doing, and I thought, oh, that's kind of a unique, uh, unique idea. And so I decided to try it this morning, and it's turning out pretty good. So I thought I'd show you. Anyway, I had some... Uh, some scrap clay from another project and it was a lot bigger than this. I just cut this off of a big chunk and I used the bigger chunk to go inside of this. So what you do is you roll out a log uh, maybe twice the size that you would want your beads to be because you're going to do a lot of rolling back and forth once you get it covered. And um, so I rolled this bigger chunk, a bigger chunk of this out, pretty wide, probably this, probably that wide. Anyway, and then I made it about, about yay long. And I began to, uh, I dug out an old can I had that was kind of a, uh, it wasn't a failure, but it wasn't my favorite. But I had it, and I had not warmed it up at all. But all I did was, um, I loosened it up a little bit, bit by rubbing it. And then what I did is I just cut off slivers of, well, I'll show you what I did. If I can do it right here. I just cut off slivers like this, or slices, of my cane, my old cane that's been sitting there for years and years. <laughs> and um, I took it in, and on that other tube that I made out of this color clay, I just began to put these on there kind of here, there, and everywhere, covering every space I could. Once I got that done, I began to roll it back and forth. And of course, as you touch it, it's going to warm up in your hands a little bit. And um, it, it got to this point, and I cut it in half. Uh, so it ended up being pretty long. And um, like I said, that's what's the inside. That's scrap clay on the inside of uh, what I've wrapped here. And then I rolled it and rolled it and rolled it and I twisted it some and I, it, it got a little bit smaller and this is what it ended up becoming. That's, that's when I decided to stop. Um, I didn't want them any smaller than these beads right here. So I've already made these beads out of this and <clears throat> what I did was I just lined it up here on my board and I just started cutting according to the lines that are on my glass here the memory keepers glass <clears throat> so they would be pretty consistent in size excuse me i haven't talked much this morning and <clears throat> seems like there's a lot of allergens out there <clears throat> pardon me so when i cut the piece like this it it's very small really and uh, what i do is carefully i need to go on each side and i pinch it pinch it toward the middle both sides I'm trying to pull my cane over the end that shows the scrap clay. And that's pretty good. Sometimes that scrap clay can show, and in this instance, it's not bad because it kind of blends in, but uh, I didn't want much of it to show at all. And then all I did was roll it and roll it and roll it until I get a little ball, but they are turning out quite um, quite nicely. I really, I really like this idea. I've got little things that I can roll balls in that I've got from Sculpey, but um, I, I don't know what it is about clay. I love to touch it. It's relaxing. It's stress relieving. And, you know, when you've had a busy weekend, but a really blessed weekend with our family, um, it's just kind of fun to touch the clay. So, and then I look at it every once in a while, and if I see some lines in there, I, I'll keep rolling and rolling until I get it there. But that's how it turned out. Isn't that cute? I like it, and I thought you might like it too. You might want to do something as well. Now, when I got it to this size, I started to also twist it just a tad bit. Just not very much, but just a little bit. And I, I think I'm gonna cut some wider ones in a little bit here, because I might want some that are just a little bit bigger than that. But for now, I want to make a bunch that are, are 
this size right here. Let me see if I can measure that um, for you. Uh, it, since it, they have not been baked, let me just take one and see about what size it is. Um, I think it's about a 10 millimeter. I think it is. It's about a 10. <clears throat> Close to that anyway. So I just wanted to show you. You can use your old canes if you have any. If you don't, you can just use old scrap clay. Keep pl placing, you know, take your little log of scrap clay and, and uh, take other pretty scrap clay and just put it on there the way you want to and just end up with whatever you end up with. So it, it's just kind of fun, and I thought that was a, a unique idea. I had not seen it before, and so I'm just going to, I was just going to take some time this morning and share that with you. So that's all I wanted to share. I just wanted to show you what I'm doing. I'm also uh, in the process of doing something else, and um, I will show you that perhaps later today. But for that, that's just, I just wanted to show you. See, they're quite different in size. Anyway, and what you want to do is really warm it up before you, um, because this was not warmed up, it's not real pliable, then um, as you're working it, you want to really make sure you're touching it a lot and getting it nice and warm. Because uh, when you do cut it like this, um, it's when they're tiny like this, it's it's a little bit harder to pinch in because it wants to, see right there, it wants to break up a little bit. But I haven't found that an issue, actually. I just keep pinching it. And it's breaking up, and it's breaking up, and that's okay. And then I'm just going to roll it anyway. I'll show you this last one. But I like, I love the colors. Uh, I don't even remember what I used that particular cane four years ago, but I have several sizes. Um, this was the original size, and then I rolled it and rolled it and cut some off and made it smaller and smaller. So I've got lots of different sizes here that I can use if I want to. But anyway, I'll show you this one and then I'll let you go for today. It's just kind of a quickie and I apologize for that, but it's, <laughs> it's better than nothing. Okay, there. We had our grandkids over, our four grandkids. We only have four, three boys and a girl and their parents, my son and his wife. And um, it was just so relaxing. I had made some, uh, a big pot of pork loin in the crock pot and with gravy and then we had mashed potatoes and some corn and salads and re relishes uh fruit it was just delicious and then we had some apple pie for dessert and no i didn't make the pie <laughs> i didn't make the pie we bought that at the store but anyway i hope you had a blessed weekend as well and um if you get a chance and you want to just try this this is kind of fun uh, the colors that I had in this can are really pleasing. I like those very much. So um, once they're baked, I can put them with other beads and uh, make something out of them. But it'd be a, a lovely bracelet, too. Okay, that's all. Just wanted to share. Love you all. God bless you. See you soon.